Wild Ramblers! How are you doing? Not as good as me, and I'm going to tell you why. So, normally, um, these posts would be a walkie-talkie journey, but no, this one is a, it's a journey of discovery. It's a, a figurative journey. It's an imaginary journey. So, I'm going to paint a picture for you. Not like with brushes and shit, because I can't draw. Um, which is surprising to say how artistic I am. Anyway, crack on. So, cast your minds back to December the 28th, 2023. I'm sat in the Priory, which is a pub in Scunthorpe. It's the annual piss-up for the lads. All right. Now, I've got a bunch of real close-knit mates. They're absolutely... They're, they're better than the best mates you could ever wish for. They're brilliant, you know what I mean? Because mates are the most important thing in your life. You know, partners, no-tails, women, they come, they go. But your mates are a constant. So we're, we're all sat round. We're at the back end of a bender. And... Um, for a while now, there's been this discussion going on that I, out of the six or seven of us, are going to be the first to chuck a six. Gonna die. <laughs> Before them. Seriously. And some of them are like fucking 25 ston. Uh, some of them are 60 tabs a day. And I'm going to be the first one to die. I fucking don't think so. So... Because I'd had copious amounts of cider, oh, I got a bit cocky, didn't I? And I went, fuck off. I says, tell you what, tell you what. I says, I'll bet you, whatever, that by April the 1st, April Fool's purposely done, April the 1st, I will lose two stone. And they fucking laughed. They laughed and laughed. And said, I'll have a bit of that fucker. So, I weighed in for four of them for £100 each. Not going to break the bank, but, you know, it's a tidy sum, isn't it? And it's a hefty sum if you don't manage it. Bearing in mind that they didn't think, or it was, it was in doubt whether I would even fucking make April the 1st. <laughs> so I said, right, we're having it. So... Wow, this is where the voyage of discovery comes in. So within the first month, I'm a stomp down, I thought. Piece of piss, this. Not only am I stomp down, if you remember December the 28th, 2023, I was nigh on fucking bald. You know, it was taking me longer to wash my face. I thought, oh, where's my hair gone? Um, I had glasses on. Look, contacts. Brilliant. Yeah, so it's been life-changing. And look at me. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I could even turn you. I know, I know. Fucking gorgeous. Anyway, the point is, it is currently the 26th of March. And I haven't reached my target weight yet. So I've got one week to weigh in. So I thought, I need to put a bit of pressure on myself. Because I've done fuck all exercise other than one walk. Because it's just pissed down every day, fucking ever, isn't it? So I thought, I'm going to document this last week, just to give me send that little push. Um, we will nip out and have a bit of a, a ramble at some point. So that's the premise of this video. Two stone, 400 quid. All right? Let's see how we get on. Um, I've got plans for this week. I've got big plans. Yeah. And I figured as well, if I'm like, I don't know, say a pound off the fucking target weight on weigh-in day, well, I've got a backup plan. I could take, I could take the system off. Can't. No, it's not a wig. Not a wig. It's a system. All right. So <laughs> that's my backup plan. 
Do you know, when I reach this target, I am going to fucking get the biggest kebab you've ever seen. And I'm going to wash it down with a flagon of old rosy. Oh, to so celebrate. Anyway, that's the introduction. So, uh, I've got shit to do. I'll catch you later. All right. Wish me luck. You fat fuck. <laughs>up against it right i got on the scales today today is the 27th i think so it's getting near to deadline day so i thought shit i need to get the old cardiovascular working so i'm going down to um Altborough flats where there's a brilliant walk fabulous vista up on the hill, drop down, and there's a great um, slag scene hide. Uh, not slag scene, is it? Bird watching. That's it, bird watching. So I've brought me bins. Yeah. Because um, uh, there's been sighting, there's been a reported sighting of a great crested glebe. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, which they are most of the time because of... Um, Arthritis, yeah. But because I'm going to Altborough, you have to be very, very, very careful. Because there are two mythical creatures that dwell in Altborough. And they're known as the Johnson Sisters. Oh, yeah. So the Johnson Sisters, they're like... Um, they're like... Dwarfy, hobbity creatures. Very rarely, very rarely seen. Um, and what they do is they, they hang around in uh, unsuspecting areas and then they kidnap blokes from Winterton and, and they force them to marry them. Uh, and what they do then to the blokes from Winterton, they fatten them up so they'll never be attractive to any other female. It's quite nasty, really, when you think about it. It's a little bit predetermined. So, yeah, going on a long walk. Hopefully, I've still got a few pounds to shift and it's getting near deadline day. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm giving them 400 quid. They're horrible as it is. So, catch you in a bit, but I want to show you the route down to Altborough Flats because it's brilliant. See you in a bit. Alrighty, so this is Altborough. I love Altborough, it's fantastic. Some amazing buildings here, lovely history, brilliant church, apart from when they're worshipping the mythical Sky Fairy. But not a lot of people know how to get to Walter Flats, and it, honestly, it's worth a visit. It's fantastic, particularly uh, particularly if you like slag seeing. You know, I've been a bit of bird watching, so you come right at the church, okay? Witten Road. Because this road here leads to Witten. That's why they called it Witten Road. Genius. And I think, I think it's down this one. Yeah. So there's your brown signs look there. Oh, I tell you what, I reckon it's going to be a bit soggy underfoot. Because all of the water off the hills goes all the way down here. And just follow the road round. Oh my god, it's flooded to fuck. I've just seen it in the distance. There's an old well there on the left, look. I swear the Johnson sisters bathe, apparently. And one of the Johnson sisters, Kate, she, she doesn't talk, she just, like, cackles. 
<laughs> bit weird. Lovely lass, but scary. Oh, I can see some uh, bird watchers. Oh, I've seen a bird. Seen a bird. Down the bottom, there's a decent parking area, and then you can walk anywhere up to, I don't know, three or four miles. It's brilliant. I've got a flask of coffee with me. I've even got a fag. One of the Johnson sisters gave me a fag the other day. Well, she gave me three. But the way, fucking hell, it was like smoking asbestos, seriously. They are like, um, they're them, they're them snidey types from Frod Road. Right, we're at the bird watching station. Park up here. Whoa, put the handbrake on, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's nearly through barbed wire. <laughs> Big rail go fucking crackers. Right, come on, let's get rambling. I'm excited. Let's get some lard off, boy. We're cut down on your pork life. <laughs> Tell you what, that bit there was a bit boggy. My boots are fucking filthy. It were up to my ankles at one point. But we've got to my first port of call, so I am ready for a coffee. Not blowing out my arse yet. So I showed you in the distance the tower. Check this out. How good is that? <laughs> oh! Oh, beautiful. A couple of geese flying over just to say hello. Look at that though, the tower. Whoever's built that, I'll take my hat off to you. Well, I would do, but I don't want my system to blow off. So that is about a mile from the car park. That direction you've got Witten. When we get in there and lift the flaps up, all of that expanse there is full of birds and uh, wild deer as well. But just a tip for you, um, because it's so remote and really warm inside, if you was on a first date or summer, that there is a great place to maybe, I don't know, do some light petting, kissing and that, and maybe fingering, you know, if you just, just gauge it really, if you think it's going well, and think, well, I'll just have a quick dip. Yeah, your knife and surfer's houses in there. Come on, let's get in. I'm ready for my morning brown. Woo! Bloody love walking. Do you know what, as well, on the walk here, you cannot hear anything from humans. All I've heard is bees, uh, birds, the wind rustling on the, uh, the bulrushes. How do you get in here then? Ah. Oh no, we've got some climbing to do. We can do this. Come on. Hey, who knows, we might get up there and somebody might have left some mucky books. <laughs> Like an old penthouse or a nave. None of that modern shit like Razzle. What a view. Gotta be quiet though, because somebody might be in there. Let's open the way. Whew. In we go. Oh. We're alright. Nobody's here. Really, how good is this? Do you know what I mean? Just bring, just bring your missus down. Fantastic. It's nice and warm. You know what I mean? She's not going to get chap lips are out. Oh, gone darky. Right, I'm going to get the flaps up. Coffee on. Bins out. Might have all knocked one out while I'm eating. What's she taking her clothes off? Go on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're bird watching and shit. Got my coffee. Oh. Last time I came here, there was a, I walked in thinking, you're miles away from anywhere, there was a bloke with his missus having a bit of pack up. And there was, uh, there weren't even like over 50 around. You thought, God, if you've come out with your missus, why aren't you hanging out the back of it? <laughs> Maybe they were just very simple folk. 
But yeah, let's have a look, see what we can see. I'm just looking on the wall behind me uh, because there's a note, a notepad with a pencil uh, and people leave what they've seen. Yeah, they've seen uh, a lapwing, they've seen a red kite, a white kite and a shit kite. <laughs> I'm going to put fucking unicorn on. Come on, let's have a look. Tell you what, I'd, I'd rather see them birds. I do love watching wild deer. There's something about it. It's just they're beautiful. I nearly twatted one on the way home the other night. Fortunately, I saw it in time. And it wasn't very well. He was hobbling. Oh. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with G. You got it? No. Garthorpe. Straight across the water, innit? God, do you know what? I thought it was going to be freezing, so I put two layers on. I've only done a mile, I'm sweating like a bastard. Um, I put my period knickers on. Well, the equivalent to women's period knickers, uh, which are big boys' pants. Which, fortunately, when I pulled the drawer out today, I seem to have quite a lot of pairs of big undies from New Year's Eve. What am I going to do with them? <laughs> oh, there's a bod. I wish you could hear that. Well, maybe if I fucking showed up, you would. But all you can hear is the tweeting of birds and a little bit of wind going through these rafters in this um, slag shed. Yeah, you can see right to the water's edge. That's where all the wild deer were last time. Cracking place, this. I love it. And it's not cheap shed either. I could, I, I could live in here quite happily. As long as you had internet access and some uh, tissue. It'd be alright, wouldn't you? Anyway, cheers, peeps. Sweetener's in. I've got to get off them. It's devil's work. Sack of it, isn't it? Oh, this is so peaceful. Just hear nothing. Great telly. Right, I'm going to turn it off. Do a bit of bird watching. Uh, maybe knock one out. Rude not to in it while I'm here. Write some mythical creature on what you've seen. <laughs> I think I've just put fucking. Should I put a dodo? <laughs> You know that's going to happen, don't you? Yeah. All right. Catch you in a bit. Right. That's the tower done. So I'm heading to Witten now, which is... Oh, I've got to go through that gate there. I go right up that fucking valley. To the top, through the woodland, drop back down again. And it's just started... Fucking raining. But anyhow, we're not made of sugar, are we? Onwards and upwards. Get your send down to the tower. Fantastic. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Aren't you Mash Baxter? That famous vocal stylist? You sang at my mum and dad's wedding. 45 years ago. You were brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's what I do for a living. I've done it. It's all I've ever done. Last job I had prior to that was uh, milk monitor at junior school. Yeah, I love it. Love it. You know, it, it's it's my life, really. Um, can't think of ever doing anything else. And the thing is, you don't, when you're, when you're a, an entertainer, you don't retire, you just die. So, yeah, still busy. Still busy, yeah. Lincolnshire's finest, by all accounts. Uh, just, it, it just gives me days like this, to, you know, to, to get out, get some fresh air. Oh, fuck off. Boring. 
Shut up! Come back! Shut up! Come back! Right, we're about two and a half miles in, halfway point. Normally I'd sit here and have a great view, but look at this. Look! Some bastards vandalised it. Unbelievable. But I've been listening to the bods on the way up. So I'm going to do a few impressions for you. Let's see how good I am. Here's your first one. Yeah? Swallow. <laughs> Here's the second one. Say what you see. Any good? Robin! <laughs> you see what I did there? Here's your third one. Uh, I don't want to go out singing tonight. No, I want to look at Facebook, see what my mates are having for tea, then maybe have a bubble bath, maybe a bottle of Prosecco and some gin. My back's gone again. Yeah, and then I want to watch Netflix. What bird's that? Tell you what bird that is. My fucking bird. Unbelievable. So let me just show you the view here. This is when you get really close to Witten. And it's lovely, lovely, lovely. On a good day, you can see as far as York. But like today, it's a bit overcast. It is a bit drizzly. But it's still... It's still great to be out. I haven't been walking for... Uh, quite a while because it has literally sailed down I've never known a fucking year like it so I think I'm gonna have my second cuppa and ordinarily I would drop down onto the Humber bank there well it's the Trent bank there because that's where the three rivers meet um, but it looks yeah it's it's proper flooded so I think I'll stay up on top I don't really like taking the same route back but I'm gonna have to today for health and safety reasons. <laughs> right, coffee, and then I'm going to treat myself to that last fag that Kate gave me. You know, Kate. <laughs> That's the one. Cracking bird. Yeah. Luckily, she didn't marry me because I only went to school at Winterton. I'm actually from Westcliff. But the other lad, you'll never see him again. Anyway, come on. Oh, wading birds! Wading birds! Well then, hey, I carried on. Yeah, I thought, because th that was at the halfway point last time where I turned around, but I thought, I'm not going to do. So, I mean, Witten. What is Witten famous for? You may ask. I'm going to show you. This is where, horrifically, um, whilst on tour with Steps, um, H fell off his scooter because... Um, it was one of them little three wheel ones and one of the stabilizers come off and he bloody crashed down in station road didn't he but it's nice because he's buried here let's have a look there look yeah rest in peace h oh there's a zebra oh no it's black and white oss but we're gonna uh we're gonna have a walk around and have my cuppa village hall that looks nice it's all well kept tell you what spring is springing I'll show you on the way back there was a little route it is the public footpath but it's a tad overgrown and all the blossoms on the trees because I'm a ginger kid I'm snorting like a bastard now from the pollen but uh, oh there's a nice bench might come back to that I'm gonna go have a look at this church church open today Oh, I hope there's no vicar or any of that shit. Not interested in your bollocks, mate. I just like your building. Let's go have a look. Ooh. All right, I might go in and have a look. Pop in at the village hall on Wednesdays. Everyone welcome. Oh, oh look at that. Coronation, 
and I bet they still live here. St John the Baptist Church. Do you know, I do absolutely adore churches for their uh, architecture. It's just the bollocks that goes on inside them that I fucking can't abide. But uh, that's, that's very nice, isn't it? It's got a very perpendicular tower. <laughs> I didn't think I'd use that word today. Let's go have a look. That seems to be a very little doorway for such a large church. People were small about them, weren't they? I mean, your Johnsons, them Hobbit types I was on about. They're only about three foot two, and they're fully grown. Look at them hinges, beautiful. Shall we go in? Let's go in. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's nice. It's a bit of wipe my feet. I've got an overwhelming feeling that I might burst into flames in here. That's decent. Look at the roof. Stunning. Font. That's where they uh, baptised kids, isn't it? And maybe washed cattle in times of foot and mouth. just want to give a sermon there but it would be so disrespectful yeah as much as I don't believe it really pale stained glass oh there's a bit more look at that marvellous it does tickle me when they depict God as a blonde haired blue eyed bloke which is just absolutely unfeasible for where he was for, well, his lad, Jesus. You know, Joseph's stepkid. But it's decent, isn't it? It's all right. Tell you what. Right. If there is a God, tell me now. Mass Baxter, vocal stylist extraordinaire. I gave you your golden voice, and you use it against me. You will burn in eternal hell. Hell. I'll take my chances. Have thermos flask will travel. So I'm still in church, because it's raining outside, and I thought, I thought Jesus wouldn't want me to get wet, would he? No. He'd want me to um, go through the valley of death dry, I think. So yeah, little, let's see how little things do it. They're looking good still. Yeah. Cheers, Pete. Mm. So that's about two and a half miles, so that'll be a five mile round trip. That's got to get a couple of pound off, hasn't it? I have got to make this way in, else my life will not be worth living. I will get shit for. Sorry, Jesus. Who do you apologise to in a church? Jesus or God? Always baffles me, that one. Which one's the Lord? Do you know? Put in the comments, tell me. Because it, it baffles me, it does. Tell you what really baffles me. Quick in there. People believe it. Fucking idiots. Cheers anyway. Cheers. I'll tell you what. This would be a great place for a gig. I'll tell you how I know that the reverberation within this chamber is very good. I did a little involuntary trump. <laughs> and it was going round the rafters. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, the Lord God, he'd want you to trump, wouldn't he? Because if you didn't trump, you'd, you'd blow up, wouldn't you? If you had all them internal gases in. <sighs> I think I'm going to be a bit windswept walking back because I was I had the back, the wind to me back walking and it's picked up a bit. So 
It could be a little bit, could be a little bit cold on the way back. Yeah. Are you allowed to vape in church? Would that be uh, disrespectful? <sighs> that always baffles me, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's just at a glance. Eight crosses within eyesight. Do you not think that if the bearded, blonde-haired, blue-eyed geezer come back, I would think that's the last thing he really needs to see, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe choose a different um, emblem. I don't know. He, yeah, I was reading a bit. And he used to... Um, he used to shag a prostitute. Mary Magdalene. Oh, yeah. As if. You know what I mean? He was like Jesus. He could choose anybody. He could bloody turn water into wine. Feed 5,000 people with a kipper and a bread bun. Why would he go for a prostitute? I don't know. I bet. I bet she was just really good at her job. You know what I mean? I bet she could do stuff that the other women couldn't. That's what I reckon. He thought, I'll have a bit of that. <laughs> I am going to hell. <laughs> Dale! Why is it that's the first song that comes to mind whenever you're trying to get reverberation in any kind of room? Hello again, hello. Tell you what, you're bloody good, are you, Mash? It's a gift. It's a gift from God, isn't it? That's what it is. Anyway, I'm a little bit damp. It could be the, it could be the fires of hell that I'm trying to put out. <laughs> but hey, it's a nice building. Fair play to you. I wonder if they ever have any of them. Um, what do they call them? Gathering sermons or whatever. I bet they don't do it on a weekly basis because you're not telling me there must be only hundred people living with them. You can't have. Even a percentage of believers, probably 10 at best. And these places are not cheap, you know. But that also grips my shit. That um, you've got people living on the streets, they can't house people. And you've got places like this that are empty 99% of the time. You could fit loads of homeless in here, and that would be very Christian and charitable of you, wouldn't it? Right, I think I've dug a deep enough hole for myself now. So I'm going to finish my coffee. And have a ramble back. And then when I get in, I'm going to have a lovely, lovely deep bath. With bubbles. Yeah! <laughs> and maybe some matey. It's a system. No, it's not a wig. No, it's a system. Anyway... I'll catch you later, if the good Lord spares me. Uh, cheers. I can't believe it's still here. So once a year, as legend goes, if strangers are found wandering around in Witten, why the fuck would you? They gather them all together and put them in stranger storage. Yeah. A people pen. And I found the bastard. I thought it was a stuff of legends. So look at this here. Look. So they put them in there. I mean, it's not very big because you're not going to get many strangers coming here. They put them in there. And then they prod them through the sides with like fucking electrodes and stuff like that. And then from the top, they put fags out on them. Yeah. The Stranger Storage People Pen of Witten. Wow. This is the bit I was on about. Look. 
Look at the blossoms on the trees. There's fucking midges everywhere. But I kid you not, if this had been New Year's Eve, I wouldn't have been able to do this walk because it's a bit tight. Because I've lost all this weight. It's like, it's like shagging a lass from Cleethorpes. I can walk through, I'm barely touching the bloody sides. Come on, let's get in. Look at it. Oh, a plethora of white and emerald greens. Beautiful. A little, little gap there, you can see. River Trent. I've got to get through there. Oh, oh she's... Yeah, piece of piss. Piece of piss. Oh, glorious. Glorious. Just look at the blossom. Sprung is springing. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And you do know, you do know that I do like to tickle a thistle. So let's perhaps caress a blossom. Oh, oh, she's a hawthorn. She's a prickly little beast. But that's like, uh, the buds are quite velvety to touch. Nice. But then she's a beast. Look at, oh, we got thorns on it. Anyway, we've got to go through there now. Hey, this has been a smashing day, this. I don't mind a bit of drizzle. Makes it a bit fresher, doesn't it? Let's just keep on it till we get through this gap. Because it opens right up. And there's a superb vista. I'm thinking this would be a great place to come a wild camp as well. Because there's loads of knackered branches so you could have a decent fire. Uh, there are signs saying no camping, but... If you can't read, well you don't know, do you? So what a camp spot right there. Imagine it right there. Little fire, cook your send some steaks, and that'd be your view for the night. Now it don't get much better than that, does it? Keep your corfus and your cretes and your Lanzarote and your Grand Canarias. I'm more happy. Witten Bank Top. Brilliant. Alrighty, Woo. six miles complete, I'm just about 100 yards back from the car, but if you ever needed to highlight how fucking stupid people are, look at this sign here, I, I can't believe it. No swimming, strong currents, that one there look, no diving, underwater obstacles, right, so you think, Fucking hell, that must be quite deep. Look at that. There's fuck all in it. Nothing. No diving. Why would you? <laughs> oh. Three, two, one, back in the car. Well, I'm bloody rum jiggered. That was really good, that. I didn't see a lot, but to be honest, I didn't go to see stuff. If I want to see stuff, I go to a fucking car boot, you know what I mean? No, and I was looking on the notice board just then near the car park. Um, recent sightings of a Merlin? Oh, Marlin? No, Marlin's a fucking fish, isn't it? A Merlin. Two peregrines! But that could be twins from Altborough that are quite posh. <laughs> Hello, peregrine, how are you? Um... And, oh, car's talking to me. And a long-tailed godwit. A long-tailed godwit. So the only thing I saw was uh, a little-tailed fuckwit. <laughs> but do you know what? I'm checking me saying in the camera. And I look old. I look old this week. And I thought, how can you lose all that weight miraculously and look old? And I figured out what it is. Last Tuesday, my lad made me a fucking granddad. Oh, what? Unbelievable. Last Tuesday, two o'clock in the morning, she weighed in at eight pounds. Which is uh, quite heavy, isn't it? Two weeks early, so she comes out of hospital today. And a mate of mine, he says, are you excited about being a granddad? 
I says, I didn't even want to be a fucking dad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my lad's absolutely med up. So, um, on this planet now is a beautiful little girl called Nancy Ann Baxter. And uh, I can't knit her for call. You know, I can't knit her a bonnet her out. So I did the only thing I could do, so I wrote her a song. So I'll put that up later in the week. Um, I like it, and my lad likes it. And usually he says my songs are shit. But uh, we're off to go see her on Friday. Excited. I don't know how I'll feel, because every time I get near, uh, every time I get near a baby, I just really fucking have this overwhelming desire to push that soft spot in, in the top of the head because it's like a tweeter on a speaker you know what I mean and it's really soft so I'll have to stop me saying doing that because that could hurt couldn't it but um here's to Nancy Ann Baxter yeah because that's what the world needs is another Baxter isn't it <laughs> I've had to take my boots off the clogged up my tracky bottoms have got shit all over them but it's fun shit it's not like having to go do a load of concreting or stood out in a wood yard or something like that this is fun mud this is mud you had when you was a kid that you won't bother about getting fucking caked up in so i'm gonna head back now um stockinged footed because i don't want to get big raised car filthy but I've enjoyed that. That's been smashing. That's a lovely walk. I would advise anybody. Get your send down here. Loads of hard parking space. It's a shame you can't bring the camper van down, but who's going to fucking say out if you do? So I'll catch you in a bit, peeps. But I do feel a little bit lighter. Yeah. And I need to go home now because I need a turnout, which will make me even lighter again. <laughs> oh! But spring is sprung in. Brilliant. See you in a bit. Just a quickie while I remember. Just before I got back to the car, because this tickled old early, uh, I saw a, a woman coming. She might have been a lady. I don't know. But I saw a woman coming up with a, um, a black Labrador. Uh, and she was struggling to open the gate. Because there was a latch on it. So I says, I'll get it for you, love. No worries. Uh, so I got the gate and she went, come on, Blue. It's a fucking black Labrador. But then again, I thought, in this day and age, it's probably not a good idea to name it after its colour. You know what I mean? You can't go around the fucking streets yawping that out, can you? Over and out. 